Hey everybody, how's it going? Here we go again. Today, we're doing something different. We're on a much different adventure today. We're not on an urbex adventure. So what we're doing today is we're gonna do a travel vlog review of the resort behind me. I'm currently in Punta Cana of the, in the Dominican Republic and I'm at the Majestic Elegance. Been here for a whole week. And if you guys had seen my last review I did, I did a cruise ship review. That video there is linked down below and I'm gonna do these things on a regular basis as I travel. So what like I said, here we are today at the uh, Majestic Elegance. Elegance Punta Cana. On the other side is Majestic Colonial. On the other side is, I believe, the Majestic Mirage. My wife and I, we're staying at the Majestic Elegance. Very nice, definitely suits the name. So for my loyal, uh, normal followers of my YouTube page, you, you guys are gonna see something a little bit different today, but that's okay. And welcome to anybody who's new to this video, who might have found me by looking for travel vlogs, travel reviews, Dominican Republic travel reviews, Dominican Resort travel re reviews. However you found me, thanks a lot guys. Make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. Follow me for all my other adventures and other travel vlogs. So we're gonna get myself ready. I'm gonna go get a coffee. So cue the music, cue the intro. See you guys on the other side. Okay guys, so we're gonna start today at the very, very front of the resort and what you guys are looking at here is over towards the Majestic Spa, right over there. And uh, as we move around, on the, le on the left of the resort, right over here, that's the Majestic Mirage, I believe it's called. It's a much newer resort and it is very nice. Right here in front of me, where we're gonna spend all of our video is at the Majestic Elegance, which is where I've been staying all week. And over there to the right is the Majestic Colonial, which is basically, it's a stay and stay and play at three resorts. Now, if you're staying at the Elegance, you cannot eat or drink at the other two spas, or the other two resorts. Same with, if you're at any resort you're staying at here, you can go, you can walk around at any other resort, but you can't have drinks and you can't eat. Which is all right, because you have plenty in your own resort. So this is where the bus will drop you off at the very front. And if you're lucky, you'll be greeted by a drink called a Majestic, which is basically an orange creamsicle with rum and it's delicious. Hola. <laughs> Here is your check-in. Very quiet. It's only uh, seven o'clock in the morning here. Good morning. Very quiet here today. What I found is the, uh, the people who stay here, at least this week, are very early, or are, are, sorry, very late risers most resorts I've been to with my wife, you have to get up early to go get yourself a, a beach hut. What? Or, or, a, or a, uh, a beach hut or a pool, a pool chair. But we have actually found that here you don't have to do that because people here get up so late that there's lots available, which is a really good thing because I hate getting up at six o'clock in the morning. So we're still walking around the lobby. If you are staying in the Elegance Club, this is where you check in and check out. You can also get snacks, coffee, and drinks here. There's showers in here. It's not open right now, so I don't think we can go in. We'll give it a check anyways. Because there's also bathrooms and showers in here. Really? Oh, yeah, okay. There we go. So the lights are off. But if you come in and you're a part of the Elegance Club as we are, then you'll check in right here. You'll come in, you'll take a seat, and you'll just sit and wait and the, uh, the, the resort staff will take care of you and get you all checked in and settled, out, settled in. There'll be coffee here for you. There's a cold fridge with cold drinks. There will be wine and champagne available as well as some snacks here. So as you cut here, get off your flight, get off the bus, you can come inside here, you can unwind while they get you your room ready. 
have a drink, have a mimosa. If you need, you can go over there and have a shower. There's bathrooms and showers in there. So this is your Elegance Club reception area. So here is your main lobby bar. Obviously nothing's going on here right now. But uh, through the afternoon and into the evening, this is a very busy bar. This is also where you'll be able to get your uh, more premium liquors. Let's say if you're into tequila, all the other bars will have your standard Jose Cuervo tequila. But down here, you'll be able to get uh, Patron Silver. Cheers. Cheers. Patron. Oh, I made a mess of myself. Basically, any of your needs for premium alcohol, you're gonna get it here at this bar. Here's another snack bar area where you can get a coffee and snacks. Obviously, there's nothing there right now. And then this here is just another lounge area where you can just sit and have a drink, be social, meet up with friends. We've spent most of our nights up here in this lounge because it's not quite as busy as the lounge downstairs. And then there's a grand piano here. And every night, uh, for about an hour, there'll be a gentleman here playing piano tunes. He'll take requests. So let's move out of the lobby. There are elevators here in case you need elevators to get down. And then straight ahead is the public relations area where you can get games and other stuff. So now we're gonna take a look here down to the grand staircase and the lower level of the lobby and reception area. We'll take a look from up top here. And obviously once again, it's very quiet right now. Very calm, everybody's in bed. A few people are starting to stir. It's got a really nice high ceiling. Two decorative chandeliers that look like they're really heavy. And then there is your, there is your main bar on the lower level of the lobby. So within walking distance of where I am right now in this lower lobby is where you'll find all of your restaurants. And uh, We'll go over there in a moment and show you what's over there, but over there is where your steak restaurant is. This is a French restaurant. This restaurant here is reservation only. There's bathrooms here. Sticking back here to the French restaurant. So when you get here, the first thing you wanna do is make yourself a reservation. Uh, they book up very quickly. They start at 6.30 at night, and I believe they go till 10 or 11 at night with, uh, with reservations. The food here was amazing. Uh, we found that the appetizers were very large and uh, the main course was delicious. The staff, the serving staff were very friendly and uh, their English was great. They had no problems understanding us. The food was just as we, as we asked for it. And uh, yeah, so again, Limited Gourmand, which is your French restaurant. And the food was delicious and I highly recommend at least once while you're here, have a dinner at the French restaurant. Moving along here, underneath the main staircase is called Nine Doors, which is your Japanese tapenaki restaurant. And this is probably the most fun that you'll have eating in this whole resort. This is where you'll sit with a group of maybe nine to 10 people and you'll sit around a grill and your, your chef, your cook will be behind the grill and uh, he gets the whole crowd excited he has you working together. He has you chanting together, singing together. Uh, so he'll make you some fresh rice and he'll make it from scratch right in front of you. Uh, you can have shrimp fried rice or plain old fried rice or chicken fried rice. Um, he'll also give you a shot of mama Juana and we'll talk about mama Juana a little bit later on. Uh, then he'll make a beef, he'll make chicken, he'll make shrimp and uh, he'll put it all together and cook it right in front of you. And just a warning, if you don't like spicy, make sure you tell him because the food coming off of these grills is very spicy. But it's a great time, super nice restaurant, and we had a great time in there. And I do, I do highly recommend that before you go to Nine, Door, Nine Doors, get yourself a couple of shots, make sure you're nice and loose and ready to have a good time because you're gonna have a good time eating at the Nine Doors Tapanyaki restaurant. 
Next is the Italian restaurant, Il Battaccio. This is also, oh, I'm, I also meant to mention that the Nine Doors restaurant is also reservation only. So when you get here and you wanna make a reservation, it's Nine Doors and it's the French restaurant that, is, that are both reservation only. So here is your Italian restaurant. And this is where we ate last night. Excellent, excellent menu. I have to say that at all these restaurants on this resort, the appetizers are huge. Like the appetizer could basically be a main course and the main courses were delicious. Um, my wife had the meatball as an appetizer and she could have been good with that. The pasta was delicious. The service was great. We found the waiters to be a lot of fun. They have a wine list that you can also pick from, which is additional that you have to pay for if you want an additional bottle of wine. But uh, it's, a, it's an amazing restaurant, the Italian restaurant. Make sure you come hungry because they're really, really gonna fill up your plates with hefty appetizers and uh, delicious main course. You do not need a reservation at this restaurant, but you do wanna get here early. They open at 6.30 p.m. So you wanna come here early and get yourself a spot. And if they don't have a spot for you quite yet, they have these buzzers right here. So you'll get a buzzer and you can sit over there at the bar and you can have a drink until they call you in and it's your turn. So my wife and I came last night at about 6.15, 6.20 and luckily we were the first ones to be inside. So here you have your second main lobby bar. Again, they do have some premium liquors here, but not all. So if, you, if you're at the pool bar, you're gonna get your basic liquor. But if you come to these bars here, you're gonna get your more premium stuff if you want. This, this area here is pretty much busy all day and all night, especially if it rains. And so we are here, it's the end of March right now. So we were here for the last week of March and it pretty much rained every day, all but one day. And yesterday it poured all day. And they brought out their animation team and they brought out board games, they brought out mini golf, ring toss, uh, all kinds of other games just to keep the kids and the uh, adults happy and occupied and give you something to do, which was super nice of them. They made it fun. And uh, for the many people who didn't want to be in the pool bar in the rain, this is where everybody came. And uh, I played myself a game of mini golf and had a really fun time. Probably the most hopping part of the, of the resort, especially at night around dinner time. Hmm. Voy a cantar esta canción con mucho cariño de mi corazón a la República Dominicana, la casa del merengue y la casa de la bachata. Voy a cantar esta canción con mucho cariño de mi corazón a la República Dominicana, la casa del merengue y la casa de la bachata. La La casa del merengue, la 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 la, y la casa de la bachata. Hey! Now we're gonna move along here. Where we're going here is towards the theater, where they have a show every night. Last night was some sort of a couple's show. Um, we saw Michael Jackson's show here. We saw a circus show. The Michael Jackson show is definitely the best show of the, uh, of the stay. They have a guy who looks and dances just like Michael Jackson. And he, uh, he's got the moves down pat. He's got his background dancers with him. And then when it rained last night, instead of having, they usually have a, a band playing in the courtyard, which, we'll, which you'll see in a minute. Um, instead, they put the band in here, and then last night they had a, a band playing, and uh, they have a bar over there. So it's a nice, large theater. It's protected from the rain, and it gives you something to do every night. The show begins around 9.30 every night. So here's just a, another courtyard. Not much in the courtyard to do. 
but to your left is the uh, walkway to the spa and you can also get to the Mirage Resort over there. Now I'm not going to talk in here but we're going to go here and check out the gym. So the gym is on the side of the resort where the theater is and it's beside the steak restaurant. So we're just going to go inside and I'll just show you guys what the gym looks like. This is Ronnie Coleman, eight time Mr. Olympia. It's busy this morning. That was the gym guys i did not use the gym so now we're going to move on to the steak restaurant and uh we haven't been yet we're eating at the steak restaurant tonight so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to drop in some footage that i'm going to film tonight from inside the steak restaurant and we'll give you guys my opinion on this steak restaurant tonight while i'm in there Big chairs. Wow. There we go. Have a seat. Here we go. My appetizer in a steak restaurant is a Caesar salad. And my wife, what did you get? Uh, salad. Just like a plain salad. All right. That's a vegetable salad. Okay. Yes, thank you. Medium red and green bean. Thank you. Enjoy. Thank you. Oh, it smells good. She looks good. <laughs> Smells good. Looks good. Look at the ribeye. Those are the ones we didn't recognize. Yeah. Wow. The chest, though, and the kind of. The ribeye is massive. Upstairs. Thank you. Hola. <laughs> okay, guys, fast forward to tonight. Here we are outside the steak restaurant. There's my lady. Excellent. So here's so our well. review. Yes, it was delicious. We both had the beef tenderloin and it was amazing. Right? Very tender, very beautiful. Very juicy. tender, very yeah, loiny. Very <laughs> Full of loins. <laughs> yes, very yeah. flavorful. Uh, it says it comes with French fries. We didn't get no French didn't fries. Didn't get no French fries. That's okay because she got my mashed potatoes. I got green beans. I you got green carbs. beans. Yeah, I need my Mushrooms. Carbs, what do we have for appetizers? I had the Caesar salad. Very good. Fresh salad. Ah. Yeah, not bad. Ah. And then I had the cheesecake. Could have done without the cheesecake. Yeah. Had a couple of bites. It was okay. Highly recommend the beef tenderloin. Oh yeah, definitely. Highly, highly, highly. I would say of all the restaurants here, guys, steak restaurant, an Italian restaurant, mm -hmm. don't miss it. Okay guys, back to the regular review. Okay guys, we're gonna make our way now back to the lobby and I'm gonna show you the main buffet restaurant. So while we're walking, quick favor guys, if you've come to this channel and you're watching my video as a result of searching for travel reviews for this specific resort, do me a favor guys and drop me a like and uh, subscribe to my page. Hit that subscribe button because you might just like the stuff that I offer on a regular basis, which is urban exploring and abandoned videos. And uh, I do these travel vlogs as I travel. This is my second one. As I said earlier, my uh, first travel vlog was from a celebrity cruise that I did two years ago or last year. Has anyone been to this resort? Has anyone been to the uh, majestic elegance resort in Punta Cana. If you have, drop me a comment down below 
and let me know what you guys think or what you guys thought of this resort. So the main buffet restaurant is just beside the main lobby. You'll walk through this little corridor here. It opens at 6.30 at night for dinner and 7 in the morning for breakfast and I believe 12 noon for lunch. At 12, uh, yeah, 7 till 10 for breakfast, 12.30 till 3 for lunch, and 6.30 till 10 for dinner. So you're going to walk in and you're going to be greeted by a number of little senoritas. Hola! Hola! Hola, <laughs> Hola senor! So there you go, it's very exciting when you walk in. And the senoritas will walk you in, take you to your chair and your table. And then in here, you've got pretty much every single thing you could ever imagine for breakfast. Cheese table. Dancing waffle maker. <laughs> Assortment of meat. All kinds of bread. Every type of bread you can imagine. Toasted, not toasted. And you got yogurts here. Here's your custom omelet station or your custom egg station. You've got cereal. Just a huge assortment of different types of food. Eggs Benedict, I had those just yesterday, they were delicious. French toast, pancakes, all the syrups you need. Hola! <laughs> good, good. <laughs> and then over here, you've got an assortment of different types of scrambled eggs, which is great. Egg whites, eggs with cheese, eggs with ham, eggs with bacon, eggs with eggs. <laughs> then over here, you've got a dessert station with little mini donuts and uh, different types of loaf and breads. Here you got a Bloody Mary station. Wake up in the morning, feeling a little bit of pain. Juice station, fruit station. Everything you guys need, pretty much you got it. The, the, the breakfast buffet, also lunch buffet and dinner buffet. Every night they have a different theme. Last night was Mexican night, the night before was American night, but they always have the same sort of assortment of food. <laughs> so here guys, this is what they call the plaza. I call it a courtyard, but they call it the plaza. And this is where there's something going on pretty much every night. There's always a live band playing up here on the stage. You've got a bar over there. To get easy, quick and easy drinks, you can also get coffee in the morning, and you can get pastries. Now it's a little bit wet because it rained all day yesterday, as I said earlier. So here's a look at your main building from the outside. Voy a cantar esta canción. Con mucho cariño de mi corazón A la República Dominicana La casa del merengue y la casa de la bachata Voy a cantar esta canción Con mucho cariño de mi corazón A la República Dominicana La casa del merengue y la casa de la bachata la so guys, along this side of the resort, you've got a number of shops of different types. Here you've got a drugstore. If you need anything, if you have any sort of issues, digestive issues, if you hurt yourself, if you need Band-Aids, if you need Tylenol, Advil, anything that you might need that you would normally get from a, your drugstore, you can get here. Here is, is your jewelry store. It's called Harrison's Jewelry Store. And we met a very, very lovely lady here by the name of Fiore, I believe her name was. Fiore, Fiore. And, uh, She'll give you a really good deal on anything that you're asking for. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, they'll have, they have rings, earrings, bracelets, necklaces, you name it for men, mostly for women. 
Uh, now, if you tell them that you were sent here by your, tra uh, by your uh, group travel agent, you'll get an even more, dis you'll get a heavier discount. If you say you just walked by, you'll have to pay this much. If you said that your travel agent from let's say Air Canada Vacations told you about this place, they'll give you an extra 10, maybe 10, 20% discount. You can also haggle with them quite a bit. It might take a bit of work. She so might have to call her manager. Um, my wife went inside, very lovely lady named Fiore. She helped us with uh, the bracelet that my wife wanted. She got a good discount. She probably could have got it for more, but we didn't feel like haggling all that much. Uh, she was a super nice lady, very helpful, very happy singing and speaking Spanish and then switching to English and back and forth. Super nice lady. I highly recommend Harrison's if you guys want to come here and buy some jewelry. And there is one at all three resorts, but I definitely recommend this one because of that lovely lady named Fiore who you're seeing here right now. And then you've pretty much got four or five different souvenir shops. They all sort of offer the same stuff. Some of them have more stuff than others, but you can pretty much get everything you want from postcards to sandals and sunglasses and trinkets and booze and picture frames and shirts and scarves and pashminas and all that kind of stuff. So now we're gonna to go to a whole other side of the resort here, guys, which is between the Colonial and uh, the, um, where am I? Hola. So here you've got your disco. I don't have any footage from the disco because we didn't go to the disco, but if you're up for it, I believe it opens at 11 o'clock at night. Okay, guys, so we're gonna cut in here. And a minute ago, I said that Coco's disco I'd never been in. Well, here we are and it's open and it's a little bit later at night. So we're gonna go inside and we're gonna see what Coco's Disco's all about. There's a picture of Michael Jackson. Keep your thoughts to yourself. There's the Beatles right there, okay? You got the bathrooms to the left and right as soon as you walk in. And then you come on inside, it's bright because it's not open yet. There's only one person in the bar tonight, guys. And that's my little lady. Look at her. <laughs> There's no music and she's just a dancing. She's just a dancing queen. <laughs> they got an upstairs. Look, look, there's an upstairs. Well, there's all these chairs so that people can uh, socialize. Yeah. I'm guessing DJ booth. This is the DJ bot. DJ bot. This is the DJ bot. Right here. I could push some buttons on the computer and make the music. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I could come in here and push a button and make the music play. Little chairs for little people, guys. See? Here, sit in one. There's just little chairs. <laughs> Are they comfortable, though? Okay, so this is the upstairs. There's the light fixture. The DJ bought. We're in the dance floor. Questionable. Very questionable phallic looking light fixtures. Well, they just look a little obscene mm -hmm. and like aggressive. Yep, yep. I feel very aggressive. Yep. This is the bar. Nothing behind the bar yet. Laying down areas. Yeah, this is the lay down area. I feel like it would be a lot darker in here at night when it's open. Of course it will, of course. And then look, this is locked. Yeah. This is locked with a padlock. Okay, guys, so this is Coco's Disco. That's about it. We got a couple of photo studios here. They have guys who, uh, two different things. You have a guy who walks around, takes your pictures at the resort, and you also can book yourself a photo shoot somewhere in the resort for a certain fee. Hey man. Good, good. This is my butler. <laughs> He's, yeah, these are the butlers. They take really good care of you. This is my Google review of you guys. Loving it. <laughs> yeah, those are your butlers. If you're staying in the Elegance Club, you get access to a butler who will pretty much give you 
anything that you need for your for your room. My wife and I were asking for a bottle of water. Or I should, my wife and I were asking for bottles of wine to have in the room, and he gladly took care of that for us. Uh, he also filled up our jacuzzi tub one night and uh, filled it with rose petals. And uh, he just takes really good care of you. He came around, he, uh, he checks on you every single day to see if you need anything. Super nice guy. And he took really good care of us. So if you have kids, there is Splash Kids part of the resort. I don't know if I can get in, but it's got like a little, uh, we've got like water slides and stuff. So it's not an adults only resort, but if you're a member of the Elegance, if you're in the Elegance Club, the Elegance Club is adults only, which means that the pools are adults only and you also have access to a restaurant for breakfast and for lunch, which is also adults only for Elegance Club members only. So it's nice and it comes in handy if you're not here with kids, if you're not really in the mood for having kids around you. But this, if you do have kids and you come here, then this is where you can take them for a fun day. So as you can see, you've got a really fun looking pool here. You've got a couple water slides for the kids to play in. And then you've got some beach chairs and pool chairs for mom and dad to sit in. you got a little sandbar here for the kitties to play in. And then you got another little playground area over there with what looks like ropes and monkey bars and stuff. And we'll go over and check out what's on the other side there. I have not been in this part of the resort because we didn't bring the kid. And... Uh, She'd be too big for this part anyways. So I'm seeing this for the first time as well. There you go. And well, I might want to come back now and do this. Now that I know that there's a water slide here, guys, look at this. Comes down, loop-de-loop -loop around. And then splash into the pool. Guys, I might want to come here later on by myself and just play in the water slide. I wonder if we're allowed as a grown-up to come in here. There's a littler one there, there's, so there's two more smaller loop-de-loop -loop slides. You know what guys, I'm coming here later on. Probably the worst place to be if you're not here with kids, <laughs> but the best place to be if you are here with kids. Keep them kids busy, right? Pool table. I don't know how many kids play pool, but whatever. You probably got some popcorn there. They probably serve hot dogs and other things for little kids. Okay guys, so looking over there, that's from your main resort. And I just took you through here to the Splash Kids part of the resort. And then what you got here is you've got a cigar shop. Cigars are purchased in addition. You don't get free cigars, but you can get cigars. You can hang out inside and smoke up. Smoke your cigars, I should say. And then here you've got another, another souvenir shop. There's me, what's up guys? And then here you have another photo studio. And so right now we're moving closer to the, uh, what the hell is this side of the resort called? So right now we're moving on to the other side of the resort, to the next resort over, to the colonial side. But you do have some areas on this side that you do have access to. First of all, you got these birds right here. Hey, check this guy out. They're pretty quiet today. 
Oh, here he comes. He's going to show off for us a little bit. There's four in total. The two red ones there, they're sleeping right now. Blue guy in the back, he's not really paying much attention, but this guy here wants to give us a little bit of a show. They were really loud a couple of days ago. So curious. <laughs> what a show, eh? <laughs> <laughs> now here you've got a sports bar and a late night snack bar called Majestic. Basically you can get pizza, hamburgers, hot dogs, anything you want. Take it back to your room with you. Eat it here, but it's pretty much like your fast food joint. And again, everything is free and included. There's another jewelry store. And then this is your sports bar. Opens from 6 p.m. to 2 in the morning. Okay, guys, so we're gonna break now from the main, from this front part of the resort, and we're gonna go walk down towards the rooms, show you guys the different pools that we've got. So I'm gonna walk over that way. You guys do me a favor while I'm walking, like this video. Do me a favor, drop me a comment down below. Whereabouts in the world are you guys watching me from? How did you find this video? Uh, just drop me a comment. Have you been to this resort? Are you interested in this resort? Um, if you watched my video and then you came to this resort, what did you guys think? Was I accurate? Did you like it? Did you not like it? How was your weather? Like I said, guys, it's been pretty much rainy and cloudy all week, but being in Dominican Republic and a resort, with free drinks and all you can eat food is better than being at home on any day of the week. So no complaints from me guys. So coming up here on the left side guys, as I make a turn is this large uh, private dining. You can purchase yourself a private dining package where you can have a table set up there and they'll set up candles and they'll set up lights and you can have your dinner just the two of you all alone underneath this dome in the garden it actually looks really nice i don't know how much it costs but you can definitely book it with your concierge and uh we've seen somebody in there every night last night there was a group of people probably six or eight people having a private dinner every other night it's been a couple a man and woman having a nice candlelit dinner they bring your dinner out to you, and uh, even when it's raining, it's still nice inside there. So now we're gonna walk through the garden, which cuts right through the middle of the resort, and you've got pools on both sides. So guys, I haven't introduced you yet to my wife. 
This is my lovely wife, Mrs. Freetography. Hello. She's joined me together on this trip to Majestic Elegance, Punta Cana, Dominican Republic. It's beautiful. How have you liked it? It's gorgeous. What's what your favorite part? What can I complain about? The palm trees. The palm trees? And the relaxation and the service. Weather's been okay. Today's nice. Today's perfect. You can see the blue sky behind us, mm -hmm. above us. It's perfect today. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. guys, now you've met the lady behind the man. <laughs> see ya. Now, I mentioned something earlier, guys, about the Elegance Club. So you can come here as a regular guest and stay in the regular rooms with, the, with your kids in the not adults only section. And that gets you access to everything in the resort with the exception of the Elegance Club pool. So right now on my right and on my left are your regular guest rooms and your regular guest pools. Now you can't see much right now. But I'll take you guys over and show you. And then you've got your Elegance Club, which has its own private pool, which I mentioned earlier. Both sides, there's two sides of the Elegance Club, left side and right side, and they both have their own private pool. And you also get a private beach area, which is adult only, which is nice, because it's not as much of a party atmosphere in those pools. It's much more calm, much quieter. So here is your walkway towards the rooms. You've got rooms four stories here three stories there and then goes back up to four this whole side is elegance club so both pools over there every room and both and all the pools are adults only for the elegance club members and we'll move over here see so here's your sign that says Elegance Club, members only. So kids are not allowed in here and neither are the regular members. Not that Elegance Club people are better, but it's just a little bit more privilege and not quite as much of a party atmosphere. So here's one of many pool bars. It's always busy. This is pretty much the party pool area between this pool and this bar and the one that you're going to see over there it's pretty much always busy there's always activities planned here so if you guys like coming to resorts and you want to do the pool games and the activities and the drinking games this is the pool that you want to be at this is your main pool and it kind of runs throughout the whole length of this side of the resort it's like a lazy river so it starts over there and it just works its way all the way around and then all the way down. So you've got huts for shade and your uh, pool chairs on this side, they don't have cushions on them. This is the pool bar right here, guys, where you can sit in the pool and drink all day. We'll show you the other side in a minute. So this is your main pool right in the middle of the resort. You've got your pool bar, it's got an outside bar, and this is where they'll play games. This is where they'll do beach volleyball, Marco Polo. They do spinning, they do aerobics, they do Zumba, they do drinking games, they do contests. This whole pool here is pretty much the area where it's just busy and it's hopping and it's loud and there's loud music playing all day. Uh, if you're interested in relaxing and just having a nice quiet day by the pool, this is not the pool for you. Um, I'll show you guys the pool for that. So again, it's about 8 o'clock in the morning right now, guys, and uh, it's really quiet. Between 8 and 8.30 and it's still quiet. There's still only a few people stirring about. So like I said earlier, pretty much late risers here. If you're an early riser and you want a nice quiet morning, this is the place for it because everybody gets up really late and uh, they're not up first thing in the morning, jumping for pool chairs. You don't ever have to fight for a pool chair. So here to my left is a restaurant called C and C, and you've got it's brec it's a breakfast restaurant from nine in the morning 
The main buffet breakfast is served at 7. If you're a bit of a late riser and you don't want to walk all the way to the front of the resort, you can have breakfast here. So this is CNC and it's also a, it's a lunch buffet and it's also a, a dinner restaurant. You don't need reservations. It's a lot more relaxed and casual. You can come pretty much wearing whatever you've got. And now in terms of the food here for dinner, I found that the appetizers were much bigger and much better than the main course. I got a sea bass as an entree and it was very dry, very small, sir, very small portion. Um, my wife got the same thing, so I don't have anything else to compare it to, but um, I wouldn't recommend the sea bass. I don't know if the other dishes are much better, but I can tell you that the appetizers were huge and the service was great. Uh, I just didn't quite like the sea bass as, an, as in a main course because it was just dry and didn't have much to it. But it's a great place to eat. There's also a bar over there and you can sit here and you can overlook the beach because it's right at the beach side of the resort. As I turn around here, you can see where the beach is. You can hear the music. It's a bit more of a fun atmosphere restaurant. video guys we're almost wrapping up we're gonna go check out the elegance club pool that my wife and I have been using all week then we're gonna take you over to the beach and then we're gonna wrap it up so we're almost done here guys so let's take a walk over here okay guys so this is the pool that my wife and I have been using there are three elegance club pools on the resort they're much quieter they also have this lazy river style of pool that runs through them it has a number of these covered huts and also beach chairs with cushions. You can get, you've got rooms that face the water and you've got the, the ground floor rooms come with your own private um, pool chairs and the ones over there also come with your own private hut. So you never have to worry about coming down and getting a spot because you've already got one right out in front of your room. So here's your far end, much quieter end of the Elegance Club pool. The only thing is that there's no bar, there's only one bar for the Elegance Club pool. So if you're staying over here and you want to have a nice quiet day and you don't want to wait for the, the servers to come to you, you have to walk to the other side, which is only about a one minute walk, which really isn't that big of a deal. But the pool here, it's nice and quiet. And uh, you do get a lot of sun. The closer you get to the other side of the pool where we're going now, the more sun you'll get during the day. Because the sun will the sun will rise right over there. So you'll get all day sun over here. But then when the sun sets on that side, you lose sun right there. So you're missing out on a good couple hours of sun of sunshine if you're on this side of the pool. You've got a bridge here, which makes it easier to get over to your room if you need to. I mentioned the servers. They do have servers who walk around and take your drink orders if you don't want to have to get up, which is really nice. I do recommend you tip them. You take better care of you that way, obviously. So now we're right in the middle. So as a member of the Elegance Club, you are given two towel cards and you get Elegance Club towels, which seem to be a different color than the regular club towels. And you get them right here from this guy. There'll be a guy right here. He gets here at eight o'clock in the morning and he'll give you your beach towels and you just exchange them every day for new ones. Now on this side of the Elegance Club pool is where it's a little bit louder. So if you want to have some fun, they, you know, you have your bar over here and uh, they, uh, they'll play music throughout the day. And I found that this area of the pool is where it's a little bit louder, not crazy loud, where it's gonna drive you nuts if you, if you just wanna be quiet. But it's if, if you wanna be social and you wanna talk to people and uh, be a little bit more in it, then this is the side of the pool that you wanna be in. And then right here is your pool bar for the Elegance Club. There's usually two or three bartenders serving and they're very quick and take good care of you. Now here, we're gonna move up to what they call the Sunset Lounge. But it's funny because you don't see the sunset. 
if you come here you can see the sunrise but there's no sunset from this lounge but this is a elegance club this is an elegance club exclusive where you can come in and you can get drinks or you can get snacks or just sit up here and chill i'm not going to talk when i come in here i'll just show you what they got Okay guys, let's go over and check out the beach. We haven't quite been on the beach yet. So coming out of the Elegance Club pool, you've also got a couple of private Elegance Club beaches. Again, adults only, no kids. So you can basically get yourself a hut and two chairs. This right here is where my wife and I will be spending the day on these two chairs in this hut. I like to go in the hut because I can take a nap. But this is your Elegance Club private beach, and I believe there are two or three of them on the resort where it's just adults only. This is also part of the Elegance Club beach right here. You've got lots of chairs, you've got lots of huts, never a problem finding a spot. Came down this morning and shot the sunrise. Super nice. Pretty much the only day of the week I could get a good sunrise because of all the uh, all of the clouds and all the rain we've had this week. So this morning was probably the nicest day to get up and shoot a sunrise. And it was great because there wasn't a whole lot of people here as well that were doing the same thing. Here you've got, right here you've got a private massage hut for a beach massage. This afternoon my wife's got herself a nice one hour beach massage booked. Have to get a review from her on how she liked that. Okay, everybody, she's back from her massage. It was delicious. Yes, would you rub? Would you, uh, rub? Absolutely. I've never done a massage on the beach anywhere at a resort before, and I highly recommend it. It is so nice just hearing the waves and the sounds of the beach, and it's so relaxing, and I definitely, definitely recommend it. Half an hour was good? Half an hour was excellent. I could have stayed there all day. <laughs> but it's definitely something you need to do to pamper yourself if you 
half a chance. So, yes, thumbs up. You got it, guys. There it is. Okay guys, so this wraps it up. I hope you guys have liked this. As I said earlier, this is the Majestic Elegance Resort in Punta Cana, Republic. This has been my travel review, my experience staying here. I've had a really nice time. The weather's been okay. The food's been really good. The people have been nice. Again, we were a part of the Majestic Elegance Club, so they took really good care of us. The wine's good, the drinks are good. My favorite personal drink is called the Coco Loco. It's a delicious, delicious drink. Lots of coconut, really creamy. My wife, she liked the uh, she liked the mai tais. No, not the mai tais. She likes the mojitos. So, guys, do me a favor. Drop me a comment down below. Have you guys been here? Has this been helpful? Did this review convince you to come to this resort? If you did, how did you like it? Always make sure, guys, give the video a like. Drop me a comment and. More travel videos coming up guys as I do more traveling on behalf of my wife and myself. Thanks for watching guys. I hope you guys have liked it.